it is now legal to marry a sociable robot and people are trying to fight against loneliness through using uh, artificial intelligence and similar stuff. So not having the human touch and the human voice, but still having someone. In a way, one tradition that comes out of this is psychoanalysis. Because many people believe psychoanalysis is the product of the specific historical moment, when people started living in large cities, they were not surrounded by intimate friends so that they could uh, share their problems with them. Religion lost its relevance, so confessions became uh, less of a help than before. So people started coming to psychoanalysts where they would feel listened to, where they would feel it they were enabled to finally find their voices. Psychoanalysis is called talking cure, among other things, because it allows people to finally start talking about what bothers them and no one else wants to hear about. And then we come to the 20th century and large cities all over the Western world and more and more on all the continents where people are very often painfully isolated, surrounded by millions of people where they know no one closely and where if they want to share anything personal and intimate, they have no idea how to do it. And slowly but steadily, people lose the idea or the skills necessary for commitment. So the numbers that we were facing several decades ago were quite alarming. Numbers of people who lived in uh, single person households, uh, the numbers of single parents and uh, the, the families with just one child and so on and so on, they were rising dramatically. Another problem that it seems we were facing was the, the, the change, the moving of social life on the internet. And here I cannot recommend you anything better or anything or, or anything else necessary than the work of Sherry Turkle, the MIT professor who has written her first books on this topic in 1985 and 1994. She predicted that the majority of social life will be happening on social networks and not in the usual old fashioned real social world. In recent years, and these are the things I assume you are familiar with, um, for instance, in Japan, it is now legal to marry a sociable robot, and people are trying to fight against loneliness through using uh, artificial intelligence and similar stuff, so not having the human touch and the human voice, but still having someone. 